X3 devices are based on a 100G platform with a bidirectional switching capacity of 1.08 terabits per second. X3A devices are based on a 200G platform with a bidirectional switching capacity of 5.76 terabits per second. Both devices support most of the boards used on X8, X8A, X16, and X16A devices, covering various board capacities and interfaces. The supported interfaces include E1T1, POS, CPOS, FEGE, 10GE, 40GE, 100GE, and WDM interfaces. In terms of dimensions, a DC-based X3 device is 175 millimeters high, while an AC-based X3 device is 220 millimeters high. An X3A device is 264 millimeters high, regardless of the power supply mode. Although X3 and X3A devices both have a width of 442 millimeters, they have different depths. Specifically, X3 devices are 650 millimeters deep, and X3A devices are 758 millimeters deep if they are DC based, and 768 millimeters deep if they are AC based. Each of the devices can be installed in a Huawei N68E cabinet or a standard 19-inch cabinet with enough space. In terms of weight, when both boards are fully configured, a DC-based X3 device is about 42 kilograms, while an AC-based X3 device is about 52 kilograms. When 200G boards are fully configured, a DC-based X3A device is about 72 kilograms, while an AC-based X3A device is about 75 kilograms. The typical power consumption is 920 watts for a DC-based X3 device, 1070 watts for an AC-based X3 device, 1020 watts for a DC-based X3A device, and 1180 watts for an AC-based X3A device. X3 and X3A devices both support front and rear access for maintenance. The front area provides board slots, and the rear area provides fan and power module slots. Now let's have a look at the board area. The dark blue slots are used for MPUs, and grey ones for LPUs. For an X3A device, the upper area provides a fan slot. For an AC-based X3 device, the bottom area provides power module slots. Next, let's look at the rear panels of the devices. The air filter is the rightmost side of the rear panel on each device. There are ground terminals. For an X3 device, the fan module is installed on the left. For a DC-based X3 device or an X3A device, the PEM modules are installed in the rear. X3 and X3A devices each have two MPUs, which work in one-to-one -one backup mode. The X3 supports MPU-D2 and MPU-D3 boards, but the X3A supports only MPU-D4 boards with 8GB or 16GB of memory. X3 and X3A devices both support DC and AC power supply. An X3 device has two power modules working in 1 plus 1 backup mode. An X3A device provides four power module slots, but has only two power modules installed. The other two slots are reserved for users to install two more power modules if 2 plus 2 backup mode is required. The maximum output power of an AC power module is 1600 watts for an X3 device and 3000 watts for an X3A device. X3 and X3A devices draw air from the left and discharge air out the rear. The devices each provide a fan slot. Note that the fan module is installed in the air exhaust vent of the X3 device, but in the middle part of the X3A device. The fan speed is automatically adjusted according to the ambient temperature. When the ambient temperature is below 27 degrees Celsius, 
the fan runs at 35% of the maximum speed. When the ambient temperature is between 27 degrees Celsius and 40 degrees Celsius, the fan speed increases as the temperature rises. When the ambient temperature is above 40 degrees Celsius, the fan runs at the maximum speed. The air filter is installed at the air intake vent of each device. The filter is on the left side. It can be removed or installed from the rear for maintenance. To clean the air filter, remove and clean the filter elements directly. You should clean the air filter every three months. For more information about X3 and X3A devices, please visit support.huawei.com to obtain the desired product documentation from the documentation bookshelf.